Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to kind of show you the basics of a window regulator replacement on this Ford Ranger. Um, this requires drilling of rivets, and this Ranger didn't have a bad window regulator, so I don't actually go through the full process. I basically show you how to get to the regulator and then what you do um, once you're there. But again, this truck didn't have a bad regulator, so I didn't want to drill it. Okay, tools you're going to need, 8mm wrench to disconnect the battery, uh, Phillips and flat blade screwdriver to take the door panel apart, uh, drill with a 3 8 bit, and then some short nuts and bolts and the wrenches and sockets you'll need to tighten those nuts and bolts. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is disconnect your negative battery cable. Start by removing two screws that are right down here under the door panel. They're both Phillips screws. Okay, once we remove those screws, you actually just pull on this panel and it snaps in at the top. So just carefully give it a good tug. Okay, you can see that there's clips up here and one down here to hold it. Now you'll actually want to uh, push all these, screw these uh, switches through. They all kind of have little thumb tabs. You push on come through. Okay, this mirror switch, use a little screwdriver. Work it in there. Pull it off. Harness back through. And push that switch through. That's the lock switch. Push it through. Use your screwdriver, work it in. Power window switch has a couple of screws on it. Take them off before I feed the switch through. It's just a little easier. Oops. Power window switch here. Push it down. Push that tab down. Okay, and once you have the window switch through. And you just want to pop this bezel off, which is on the, the top and the bottom. Just kind of pry up like that. And pry up like that. That bezel comes off. You can feed that through the panel. That's off. And now you want to remove two more screws. One here. Okay, and once those screws are out, then you just lift up on the panel, lift it up over the door lock here, and it comes off. On the back side, it just has a bunch of hooks that hook into the door. Okay, to access the inside of the door, you'll need to remove this shield, which just do it very carefully, because this protects your door panel and stuff and getting water in it. Okay, so if you're looking to replace your window regulator, okay, I've got a new one here. It's 
so you just kind of can see um, it is fastened with four rivets here. Okay, so it's basically in there like that. Okay, um, and then here's the arm that attaches the window. So what you would do is you would drill out these four rivets. Okay, use about a three eighths inch drill bit, drill out those rivets, and then um, support your window. Okay, probably have a helper just kind of hold the window, and then you slide uh, the regulator out. Okay, and it it disconnects right here. This is the window motor connection, which is nothing more than just use a screwdriver and pull this little tab up a little bit and disconnect it. Um, but then, like I said, this this car has a good window regulator, in it, so I don't want to drill it out and put it back in. But you are going to want to have short bolts, short nuts and bolts that just go through here a little bit and fasten. Okay, so that nothing contacts on the back side. So. Sorry, we can't do a little more in depth than that, but like I said, this is a good regulator. I don't want to drill this. This I don't want to drill the rivets out of this truck and put a new one in there when it doesn't really need one. But that's basically how you get to the regulator and what you need to do to replace it. Okay, now here I'm just going to fast forward through putting the door panel back on. If you do want to see this in real time, um, just check out our other videos and you'll see the video for um, the Ranger door panel. And that takes you through it in regular time. And again, I hope this really helps you out. Um, again, one more time, you know, sorry we couldn't actually do a regulator, do one on these Rangers. This one just happened to be good and I just didn't want to drill out the door. Um, and re, you know, replace a regulator that didn't really need to be replaced. So, uh, but it's not all that difficult, um, and you should probably be able to handle it with this video. So, we hope it helps you, and thank you very much. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.